And that makes the internet so incredibly useful for all of us to make just plug-in devices truly plug and play. Now the drive is opened up and you see a couple great games on that drive. Man, we love games here at Apple. We really love games. And I have on my drive three really hot new games. Quake 3, Arena, Tomb Raider 3 coming out this fall, and Star Wars Pod Racer also coming out this fall. I really want to show you Star Wars Pod Racer, so let me start that game. Ah, same thing. This is planned. <laughs> this is planned. <laughs> it's telling us that we don't have the latest version of OpenGL. I'm sure a lot of you know that OpenGL is the great 3D API that now we're using to bring the best games onto the Macintosh. Well, what do I do? Well, it's so easy. I can just go to my software updates control panel. And in here, I have two choices. First of all, I can set up my Macintosh to automatically update itself on a schedule. I can set a schedule and say, you know, every Sunday night, check Apple server and make sure I have the latest software. Or in this case, if I don't want that to happen, I'm just going to click the Update Now button, and the second I click it, it's going to scan the contents of my system folder. It's going to look at Apple's secure server and compare for any updates that are newer there than what I have on my system. Let's do that right now. It has gone out to the Apple server over the Internet, and it's found, sure enough, there's one, one piece of software there that's newer than what I have. It's OpenGL for the Macintosh. If I don't know what that is, I can click on it, read about it, and then, sure enough, that's what we need, so I'm going to click Install. It's going to, again, download and install in one step, automatically OpenGL for us. All done. So now let's try that again. No restart. Very good. <laughs> so it could take just a moment here to launch uh, Pod Racer. It's, again, a new game from Lucas Entertainment. We're loading up now all the sound and graphic files. It's based on the, the movie Star Wars Episode One. A lot of the people who know me know I love games. So I'm going to go in. Let me give you a brief look at what this game is going to be like on the Mac. We can pick our ship, different choices. We'll stick with Anakin. We can pick different race courses. All right, let's start the race. Yep, it's an awesome game, and Mac OS 9 is the greatest release, and I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you very much. Pretty cool, huh? Those are just a few of the over 50 new features in Mac OS 9. It is the best internet OS ever. And it only costs $99. For $99, most of these features alone are worth $99. For $99, you can get a whole new Macintosh. And we are having a huge US dealer event on October 23rd, where we're going to premiere this in the US channel. And we're going to have demo days and a big blowout at the dealers. So this is when hundreds of thousands of copies reach the channel, October 23rd. OS 9, this is what it looks like in the stores. We're very proud of this release, and uh, I would like to give a, a round of applause to all of our software engineers in the audience. <laughs> you guys have done a great job on this brings us to systems. As you know, we've got this really wonderful, simple product line strategy. Four product families. We've got a desktop and a portable for our pro customers and a desktop and a portable for our education and consumer customers. Very simple. And for the first time, just a little over a month ago, we filled every quadrant, the iBook being the last to join. 
So we've completely retooled the product line. I'd like to review them with you right now. I'd like to start off with the Pro Desktop, our brand new Power Mac G4. This thing is killer. It's not only incredibly beautiful, but it's got features like the incredible door, the side door that lets you access every component inside in seconds. But the biggest thing it's got inside is this G4 chip that's like a rocket. It is a supercomputer on a chip. It performs over one billion floating point operations per second. That's a gigaflop. It's the first microprocessor to ever have this level of performance. And it toasts the new Pentium 3. It just toasts it. So we're ex extremely excited about this product. And uh, we priced it very aggressively. It starts at $1,599. We have a whole bunch of different models. You can go to the store and configure one of over 8,000 different configurations. And we've been running this really cool TV ad. And if you haven't seen it, I'd love to show it to you now. So let's go ahead and run the ad. For the first time in history, a personal computer has been classified as a weapon by the U.S. government. With the power to perform over one billion calculations per second, the Pentagon wants to ensure that the new Power Macintosh G4 does not fall into the wrong hands. As for Pentium PCs, well, they're harmless. So, our new Power Mac G4 also comes with the ultimate companion, and that is our brand new Apple Cinema Display. This is the back, and this is the front. It's the largest LCD display ever brought to market, and it's the best computer display of any kind in the world. Its display area is equal to that of a 24-inch flat CRT, and yet it's twice as bright, twice as crisp, zero flicker. This thing is the ultimate companion to the Power Mac G4, and together they give us the hottest pro desktop lineup in the entire industry. So that's our pro desktops. Let's move on to our pro portables. This spring, we introduced our latest PowerBook. It's a very, very nice product. Much thinner, much lighter, and it is the fastest portable in the world. It has up to five hours of battery life, which is amazing, and it is the best way to watch DVD movies on an airplane in the whole world, on this giant 14-inch screen. And We've been selling these uh, faster than we could even make them. We've made a lot of them, but we've been selling them even faster. And I'm pleased to say that we have pretty much just about caught up with demand. And so you should be able to find these in the stores now. And we're building a lot of them going forward. So hopefully uh, we'll be out of that situation. This has been an extremely popular product, and we're very, very pleased with it. So new power books are pro portable, fastest portable in the world. We just recently introduced our consumer portable. You're familiar with it, the iBook. What's the spec on the iBook? It's simple. It's an iMac to go. And it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And it's got this gorgeous 12-inch TFT display. We didn't scrimp on the display at all because that's the most important thing about a computer. It's your window into the internet, your window into your software. We've got a beautiful display. This is the second fastest portable in the world and it's second only to our own PowerBooks. It's got a 300 megahertz G3 processor in it. It's also fully featured with a 56K modem, 100 megabit ethernet, USB ports, and full-size keyboard, but this is what blows us away. Over six hours of battery life on this product, so you can basically bring it with you all day without having to bring an extra battery or a charger, and we're selling these for $1,599 which is an astounding price for this set of features. We've gotten tons of orders for these things. We started shipping in mid-September, just like we uh, announced we would. Uh, there's been some earthquakes in certain parts of the world that have slowed us down a little bit. Well, we're back on track now and shipping again, and we have, uh, we plan on